today is an awesome day. I'm Dodoof and I'm here with some more foundation. So I was, before I started recording, I was looking through this in here and I realized we need food. Our food's not too bad. Our church is being built, but we need clothing. So we definitely need to get some more clothing manufacturing going on here. So what I can do is we can actually build another sheep farm over here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get this sheep farm built. Should we can do something like that? And then we'll probably need another tailor. Another weaver, I mean. Yeah, it takes... Okay, it's one to one. And we're running pretty low on... um. Yeah, I think it's our bottleneck right now is actually the wool. I think the wool is actually our bottleneck. Let's go ahead and get another sheep farm built. And can we get any more sheeps here? Please remove one. Okay, that's the maximum amount of sheep. It says please don't abuse. I guess we could put as many sheep out as we want, but... You know what? Because it wouldn't make sense to have a fenced in area and have a sheep field around this place. Like tons and tons of sheep. You know, it's all good. In the next video, we got more wheat production going on here. Actually... Yeah, right here. This is our new wheat production area. So we got that done. So our food's finally getting pretty stable. And it looks like we're getting a pretty, pretty big stockpile of flour here too. It's pretty good. So we need to actually... Oh, we don't have a, we don't have bakers here. Okay, never mind. That's what's going on. Okay, so let's get some bakers there. Check out our housing situation. We've got some houses that are average. Some are high. Alright, these are all high. So why is that? What's... Oh, it could be because of the well in the area. See, I'm thinking maybe the wells do help out. I guess it's average. That's high. So let's see if we can put... To me, it doesn't say, like, how much happiness these things give you. Let's put a road sign here. Let's plop down a cypress or two. I guess let's put a couple out here. Put one back here. That's still average. I don't know if it takes time to actually catch up. Sometimes it seems like it does. Yeah, these are all high, which is pretty awesome. That's average. Just plop down a couple of cypresses here. A couple of decorative bushes. I guess this house here, we could put some decorative bushes around this house as well. Let's kind of get more decoration here. See, I should have put this over here. That would have been a much better spot. Oh well, it's okay. Not a big deal. In our crazy, crazy church. <laughs> See, I would think these things would actually turn off the bell sound. Let's turn them all off but one. At least that's how it would make the most sense to me. That's how it works or not. Who knows? We just did have a couple more villagers join, right? Yep. Good. Let's see here. Let's get the last woodcutter. And we can actually start getting some soldiers assigned. Nice. So once we get a couple more people, we'll have enough soldiers to actually take care of one. Okay, clothing is our biggest... Biggest issue we're running into now. And I think we got a whole lot of built... Yeah, the church started being built. Good, good, good. Wow, that's going to take a heck of a lot. Get that church built. And before we did start working on this, For some reason somebody's coming and grabbing the wood and taking it elsewhere. I don't understand why that is. We have plenty of woodcutters that that really shouldn't be a thing. But that's okay. So it seems like charcoal is our biggest bottleneck. Um, I'm wondering if. I'm kind of tempting. I wonder if we should put a charcoal pit here. 
Since that seems to be our biggest bottleneck, that seems to be what we need the most of. Because we have plenty of iron. We have lots and lots of iron. Holy cow, do we have lots of iron. So yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go ahead and build another charcoal pit. I'm not sure what's going on there. Or coal hut. I'm not really sure what's going on there exactly. For some reason our production of coal just really isn't... But they're making out of wood. That's That to me should be charcoal. More so than coal. Because <laughs> coal is actually an ore farm from the ground. You check that out. You got, they got big old wood cutting axes there. Big old saw. Nice. Yeah, so we're doing pretty darn, pretty darn good here. Our food's really catching up, which is good. I'm half tempted to find out if we need to make another farm here. Holy cow. We'll see what happens, because we're starting to run out of flour. Yeah, it might be a good idea to put a farm... Man, we're really expanding like crazy here. We could have this whole area to be more farms to sustain our population. Um, yeah, we don't have water anywhere in the area, so can't we? We can't get fish. So sorry, not sorry, can't help you. <laughs> I cannot help you. And we got more villagers joining. And we're doing pretty darn good in the church. Oh, I'm liking the church with that blue roof. That is awesome. That looks really nice. Heck yeah. Oh wow, so we came up with tools pretty good. Nice. You know what I'm going to do? Because I would like to have a uh, wheat surplus. You know what? Let's go and buy this land right here. And then we can actually... Okay, let's do this. It's a regular tree, right? These are both regular trees. Let's chop both these down. Let's get rid of these. Oh, I was pushing the wrong, going the wrong direction there. Let's see if we can um, close this down a little more. Got a little lag from the saving there. There's a couple games that I can't kind of can't wait for. Um. I know 1800 is one of them. I did get a hold of the beta and I, I did start recording YouTube videos for them, but I just didn't think they were good enough at the time. Actually, post. That's the reason why that didn't get posted. Let's get rid of some of this. And that game comes out April 16th, so I will definitely play some of that game on the channel. I'm, I was kind of looking at the wrong. I thought this whole area was. All these trees and stuff. Okay. Let's go ahead and chop these down. I don't think we need stone, do we? No. No, we definitely don't need stone. So we're not going to worry about that. Okay, so we got all these zones cleaned up, which is good. And definitely want to get another farm built. Is might as well, why not? I want to get a surplus of flour coming. Because I know if we have a surplus of flour, we'll be in good shape. I couldn't think of what the heck I was ta talking, looking for. <laughs> okay, so let's plop this here. I'll take care of these trees. And then we can actually give them a wheat field. Right across this area here. I'm not sure how much this area is going to take up, but we'll see. Yeah, that's kind of how I've been doing it so far. Actually, I'm curious. Um, I think there should be enough room there for a path, right? So if not, we'll have people getting stuck. And then we're worried about another windmill. 
when the time comes. We're definitely burning out, some, burning down some flowers, so we're good there. Yeah, I think wheat's wheat's definitely slowing down our bread production, which our bread production is actually in really good shape. So, unlock monastery. I have a. Is that 108? Yeah, it's 108 splendor. How come I can't actually unlock these? Maybe they're not in the game yet. Oh, I need 10. Okay, okay. I understand now. Wasn't exactly understanding what that meant. Okay, got it figured out. And then let's go. So we wanted to build down here. Let's go ahead and build around this tower a little bit. Build around the church. I don't know why, I just kind of think that building a house around a church is kind of a cool idea. Build around here. So that gives them plenty of space to expand their housing. There's no reason for them not, for them not to be building housing. Man, yeah, we're expanding pretty darn quick. Oh wow, that church is going up pretty fast too. Awesome. So we just need 48 more tools. So we have, we have all the resources we need, so, so we're good there. But yeah, I want to get into playing Anno when it comes out. I got a hold of the Dawn of Man Beta Key and I've been playing that. That game seems to be pretty fun so far. I've been enjoying that. Let's get five soldiers assigned. And then we can, oh crap, we can't do that yet. Pretty soon we'll get that done. So a thousand gold. 10 points for, um, okay, and 21, which, in my stream, I made a mistake of giving my people wine when I didn't have any type of way of producing it, and they ran out super quick, and actually made them unhappy that the, they were lacking wine, so, definitely not going to make that mistake again. Got all kinds of houses being built here. I wonder if the church... It helps increase the level too, because there's nothing in this area to increase that level. See, I'm thinking the church has a certain radius that helps with the increase in levels too. House is upgrading. Nice, that house there is upgrading. Nice. Hey, these secondary houses are pretty sweet. Yeah, I think it's part of what's going on here. I wonder if they'll ever have um, resources to run out. Maybe bring seasons in the game and have them last certain seasons. That'd be kind of cool. So now we're just on full speed ahead. Kind of chilling here. They need to start working on that farm yet. You know what we kind of need? I feel like we need one more builder to get stuff done. How many builders do we have? Because I feel like... One, two, three, four, five. We have five. Yeah, I think we need one more builder. So we do have anybody that's unemployed. We should. Oh yeah, we got a bunch of unemployed people. You're gonna be a builder. Now, since we have so many unemployed people, let's go ahead and um. Oh, I don't want to do that. When I was streaming as well, you couldn't. Yeah, you can only have 10 soldiers assigned at a time, it seems like. I don't know if that's the way it's meant to be, or that's some type of bug. But I should still be able to assign soldiers to the treasury. I don't know. And for some reason it took me way out there. Is there a quick way to get to my village, like a hockey or something? Well, yeah, I guess I could go to a villager and... Oh, a villager. Okay, so we need to get this build here. Get that coal coming. Yeah, it's your weakest link, although we're starting to produce more coal. But I want to make sure this place has more coal than it needs. Because this is our tool production, right? Oh, we need one coal and a bar to make tools as well. Oh, okay. 
Okay, I didn't know we needed so much coal. Holy cow. So that's what's going on there. So yeah, it's a good thing I start getting a second one belt. Hopefully they feed off of this. 100 logs? Holy crap. See, these dudes from this coal place could just go here and get their logs and have plenty of logs. It's crazy. Okay, we're 86% happiness, which, which is pretty darn sweet. And we didn't even get the new um, sheep farm belt yet either. I think that's definitely what we need for our clothing. We need more sheep. And we'll keep an eye on that to see how that does. Church is almost finished. Heck yeah. Wow, we just need one stone and nine tools to finish this church up. Uh, okay. I was about to say, oh, we're so close to the tools, but we got it. We got it. This tower. I like putting the towers on the hills. That's pretty cool. Let's just check our buildings here. Do we have anything new here? We have the iron mine. It's not really, I guess, at this point in the game. We could build, like, walls around our city. I'll save the walls for later on. I should put some of these buildings more in the outskirts and the farms more in the outskirts, but I really didn't think of that when I was building this all up. It's all good, though. Gonna put some walls up, stuff like that. Our budget. Holy cow. <laughs> okay, so 30 berries. So we want to do your clergy, right? 16. Yeah, we don't have enough to open this up yet. Um, uh, the hunter's hut. Ooh, we want to get this up to 15. So we'd have to build another tower to do that. See, that's still for the clergy. Go ahead and accept that quest right away. I guess we could build another hunter's hut or keeper. Not hunter's hut. We could build the other keep here. Or should we build it by the large manor? I'm thinking up here. Yeah, I'm liking that idea. Let's go ahead and get another keep built up here. Special tools. Oh, I gotta actually build something to start construction, don't I? Yeah, that one on top A. Because that gives me the most, um... Let's do that and put a decker flag on top. Got training dummies. Soldiers love to hit them. <laughs> I would imagine. See, too bad. You know what we could do? You know what? I like this here. Yeah, let's start construction. So once we get that built, that should be... Yeah, that'd be 15, which we'll be able to unlock the hunter's hut. Get us some more food. And then the one keep big. And then 40 is the weapon smith. So that'd be pretty cool. Alright, so we unlock the monastery. The herb garden. Oh, this must be how we get herbs. A Apiary? Not really sure what that is. But we'll find out. So the church is finally built. Nice. Yeah, we don't want to edit that. Uh, 25 out of 62. Once our people... Some of our villagers are lacking church, though. Or religion. Hmm. Who's lacking religion? Why are you lacking religion? Doesn't make any sense. So for now, let's turn off the four unemployed people. See, I can't assign soldiers. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, I was out of people to assign. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. Let's go ahead and unassign these people. We don't need all that many soldiers. You know what? Let's do this mission. Heck yeah. Right, so we got to make sure we're picking different people. It's funny how people are number, name, male, female, number, blah, blah, blah. Just send these people here. 
Get that mission done. Okay, the sheep farm is built. So I think it's more important that get people on the sheep farm. To spawn some sheep till he yells at me. There we go. Should be good. And I want to get this built as well. Man, there's so much stuff we want to build. We need more people to come. We got another house upgrading. Sweet. And this house is upgrading. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, we should keep building down here. Maybe even build... Yeah, I kind of like building down here in the valley. We'll see how it goes though. And we could build the monastery maybe down here somewhere. I know a lot of these buildings are going to be really close to a church. And this here, hmm. Doesn't really make any sense to have this here anymore. Like it would make more sense to actually destroy this and I guess move this over this way. Yeah, I think that's what we do. Let's do this. Um, too bad there's no way to actually move the buildings. That'd be kind of cool, but it makes sense. So we want here. We want the sawmill. Put this bad boy right here. Is this gonna be plenty of tree cutting going on here? So let's go ahead and I guess just unassign everybody here. I'm gonna sign everybody here. Yeah, we have plenty of planks. It's not, it's not, planks are not an issue at all. I don't want to destroy these two planks get taken out. In the warehouses, none of the warehouses broke. I don't think so. The warehouse seem to be in pretty good shape. Good, good. So I wonder how this works, how the quests work. I guess you're going to say later if we're successful or... I don't know, we'll see. I'm curious about that. Okay, so the coal hut's been built. So let's get three people in the coal hut. And get that metal production going. Are we starting to build this yet? No. Okay, go. Good. So I think this version is still working on making some blanks. That's that's fine. This this is emptied out, so and they're probably still cutting wood. So we'll let him do his thing. We are going to clear that out pretty soon, though. Yeah, this game we're just ever so slowly expanding, more and more. I'll tell you one thing, I streamed this game last Sunday, and it was a really fun game to stream. It's a really fun game to play. You guys get kind of sucked into it. I've been making mistakes. I didn't really realize we need so much, so much coal. Look at this. Yeah, I think we're gonna be good now with coal. So we're gonna have plenty. Of, yeah, we're gonna have plenty of coal production. Your soldiers are back on the mission. Good. So we have 50 wine now, which is awesome. How are we doing here? We have plenty of gold. So I kind of want to buy this land over here and get that monastery built <laughs> way down here. Because we're going to keep building housing down through here. I kind of want to follow this path here and come down in here. And then the outskirts, we can create farms and stuff like that. I don't think I'm going to worry about walls because there is no... There's no getting attacked in this game. Oh, okay, cool. So we got one free territory. You know what? We're going to take advantage of that. We're going to buy this. We're going to buy this. Nice. And then I can build the uh, monastery down here. We don't have to yet, but might as well get it started. I mean, it's a new building. Oh, we need glass. Um, okay. Fair enough. So I don't know if it's possible for us to actually craft glass, but I know we can buy it. So let's do this. Where's glass at? Can't see the bottom of the list there. 
There we go. And then we want to accept that. We want to go to the trade screen. They're selling glass for 50 gold. That's fine. Let's do 20 glass. And we want to buy until inventory reaches that value. Good. Good, good, good. So it's going to take a while to get this monastery built. But you know what? I think it'll be worth it. Cloister center. Decorated bushes. Herb garden. Oh, these produce herbs. Oh, okay. Oh, the apiary produces honey. Wow, that is cool. So there's got to be a way to make wine then. There has to be. It doesn't really matter. It's not important right now. So we have Abby 1. Abby B. Let's do Abby A. I don't want to put it right along this path because this is where everybody walks. Let's put it... Church is right here, so let's put it in here more. And let's do dorms. Make this building kind of big and crazy. Because, why not? Okay. And we could probably do B as well. Let's kind of give it a different look. What's cloister center? Hmm. Ah, oh, no. I like it right there. I'm not really sure what that is, but... Oh, wow. Dude, check that out. Yeah, let's do that. What do we have here? Fish? Sorry. Can't help you with fish. Cluster corner. So we can make this like the inside that... Oh, that's nice. I like that. Do some center B here. Yeah, this place is going to be pretty, pretty epic. Might be a little too big, but... We'll see. We might need to actually... Find another territory. <laughs> Yeah, I'm liking the monastery so far. This place is awesome. Um, oh, that's right. We actually click on it. Let's do some more cloister center. It's going to be the biggest thing we've built so far. Definitely, by far. It's going to take... I think I'm going to stretch this out a little bit more. Let's keep going a little, little bit longer. We stack there, please. Thank you very much. So it seems like oh, I should have built it back here farther. Um. Oh, sweet! So we can click and drag the whole thing. Awesome. I'm glad that's a thing. Let's do a couple, a little bit more cloister centers. Yeah, this is going to break the bank. <laughs> Should we do a corner here? Yeah, I think this is a good spot to actually extend out to. Nice. Now we can do the center here. Is there an easy way to do multiples? Nah, I guess not. Okay, fair enough. Oh no, we don't want that. It was B. Dude, check that out. That is awesome. There's a crack in there. Seriously? Um. Actually, you know what? Hold on a second. Can't we... Well, that's awkward. Let's wait for them to get in now. We got a fireplace? Nice. Just 
put the fireplace over here and over here. Nice. And the cross. It's a monastery. I don't think a monastery should have a cross on it. It's completely different. Okay, we still got the herb garden. Should we put it inside here like this or put it a little more towards the outside? I almost built ever I can in this good old grid here, huh? I might be able to snap it. It will snap here. Hmm, does that make sense? I can't snap it there because of the chimney, huh? No. Um, we could snap it here. Might do that. Put one there for now. And then the apiary for the honey. Flop this like back here. Nice. And tower A. Probably put the towers like right here. It's kind of cool. I like that. Yeah, this is going to be the most epic building we have so far, I think. <laughs> okay, snap. Thank you very much. I want to extend you up there. There we go. Not high enough yet. It's an herb garden. Oh, it's two different herb gardens. So we'll see how that goes. Let's get this build, I guess. Yeah. Circuits. Oh. We gotta do blue. No, we gotta do blue. <laughs> Holy crap, look how much it's gonna take to build this thing. This thing's gonna take forever to build. <laughs> I'm good with that though. I'm good with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna wrap up this video. I just realized it's going kinda long. Let's go ahead and wrap this video. Up oh, and our our church. A regular church here. Let's focus on the church here somehow. The controls in this game are a little bit wonky. There we go. That's going to be the main focus of this video. We finally finished the church. Awesome. And before we go, before I wrap this video, let me check here. At the sawmill, treasury, wheat farm. Most important thing. We build the lumber camp. Get people in the sawmill. With the sawmills, I guess. I started signing some soldiers. Um, how many people do we have? Holy cow. So. Actually drag that over. Darn it. I like the edge of the screen scrolling thing. Sometimes it's a pain in the butt. So before I wrap this video up, I'm going to do the um, affirmation of the day. The affirmation today is, I can believe I can do anything. And the tip of the day is to believe in yourself. Because really, if you don't believe in yourself, how is anybody else going to believe in you? Nobody else is going to believe in you. So it's up to you to believe in yourself. And believe that you can do anything you can put your mind to. Because you truly can. So I just want to say thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and kadoosh that like button and put down a comment down below. May you be happy, healthy, at peace, and live in abundance. Much love, and I challenge you to live your version of an extraordinary life.